Today, we're gonna build a completely overkill iron farm in our Let's Play world. This farm is gonna produce us thousands upon thousands of iron per hour, and it's also gonna be a two-dimensional farm, which means it's in the overworld and also in the nether. I have been putting this off for quite a while because it does mean I need to deal with these guys. We all know how difficult it can be when it comes to building a farm with villagers. Anyways, if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you are not. Let's get on with the episode. I really need to build an iron farm because in order to do some of the projects I want to get started on, I'm going to need loads and loads of iron. But there is a few things I need to gather up before we can actually build an iron farm. First off, if you watched last episode, we built up this villager breeder, which is going to come in handy today, but not completely. Because there is a thing with iron farms, and it's a pretty negative downside. See all this beautiful terrain, I mean, besides this dirt bridge? If I were to build an iron farm right over there, it would be pretty ugly. So instead, I want to find myself a big grasslands that I can turn into my industrial complex. This is where all my ugly farms can go in the future. But that does mean this villager breeder isn't gonna be completely useful. I'm gonna have to build another one by the industrial complex. This one is mainly just gonna be used for all my trading halls. And today, I'm gonna use it to get a bunch of name tags for all the zombies for this iron farm. Now, I could get myself a librarian villager and start trading with him right now, but that's gonna be really expensive. So instead, I want to use the zombie right behind me to zombify this villager so I can get really cheap trades. Although in order to do that, we need to go into the nether. And you might be asking yourself, why do we need to go into the nether? Well, first off, I want to collect up a good amount of glowstone because I like using redstone lamps. And you need glowstone in order to craft those. But also, I need to go find myself a blaze spawner so I can get some blaze rods. And with those blaze rods, I can craft myself a brewing stand and also some blaze powder. Well, isn't that convenient? I walked right by that thing. I just need to find a safe way down. I think the best option. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess that's just what's going to happen. Let me eat some food real quick before I go into there. Uh, of course, there's a lava pool separating me and what I need to get to. I think I'm just going to do the really stressful thing and go directly over a lava pool and then just drop down. Okay, I got the advancement. I'm gonna make myself a little safe haven real quick. And now I can start exploring this thing. And I have found exactly what I'm looking for. Let me just build a little wall so they can't get me. Then also do that so I'm safe from behind. And take them out with the arrows. Oh, of course, I forgot these guys don't give you a blaze rod every single time. Oh, hey there, buddy. I'm gonna come back for you one time. I need your skull. Oh, that is so not good. The one piece of armor I didn't need to break broke. And that would be my gold boots. Oh, that is just not good at all. Oh, ow, 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 ow. I should be good on blaze rods. Now I just want to try killing a few of these guys if I can. Maybe I might get myself a skull. Nope, no skull that time. I did forget that they give you coal. I still do need nether warts, so I'm looking around for one of those rooms right now. Perfect, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Just gotta make sure there's no skeletons and I can just harvest this stuff up real quickly. Same on this side, collect all of that stuff. Ooh, looks like we got a chest right there. Close that off. Ooh, another one right there. We got some armor and a saddle, very cool. And ooh, we got a smithing template, sweet. Oh, and I got a piece of gold armor. I didn't even think about that. I forgot you can get gold armor from these chests. I pretty much have everything I need and I found a few more chests, so I'm heading back home. That's if I can make it out alive. Now that I have those much needed blaze rods, I can get started on getting everything together in order to brew these potions of weakness. And man, I kind of forgot how many little nicks and knacks you need in order to do this. I mean, you need the brewing station, you need bottles, then you need all the special things to brew that specific potion. And of course, I don't have a water source up at base, so I had to run down to the lake, get a bucket of water and bring it back up, and then craft a few more things on top of that. Okay, I couldn't remember if the nether wart or the spider eye went first, so we're gonna find out together. I think I'm doing it the right way if I put that in now. Nope. Okay. So that's definitely not the right way. Okay. Take two. I think I just need to put the spider eye in there and then some gunpowder. Now that I have the potions all made along with the golden apples, we can actually get started with this villager process. First off, I'm going to need to get myself a villager. There is supposed to be a dispenser right here, but I didn't have the string for it. So we'll put one in a little later, but let's grab ourselves a villager. That is exactly where I wanted him to stop. And now let's place down this lectern. Now I would like to maybe get a guy that has a mending book 
book on the first trade, because if you can't tell, my pickaxe is really low on durability, and I don't want to waste my diamonds. All right, did he change to a librarian? No, he did not. Just gonna give you a little more push right there. Now, do you want to become a librarian? What if I put it right there? Okay, he's now a librarian. What book? Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted. This is probably gonna take quite a while. Okay, can we just talk about the fact, when did villagers get so picky when it came to picking up a trade? Or a type of work, I guess? I don't know. I spent over 20 minutes trying to get this guy to pick up trades, and he maybe picked up four, maybe five, and all of the books he was selling were about as bad as they get. Loyalty three, projectile protection four, sharpness two, which I don't know how that happened, and a few other not so good ones. Oh yeah, Curse of Vanishing is exactly what I want. Thank you guys so much for all of these great trades. Oh yeah, and this guy became a fisherman, which I have no use for, so leave. I have officially decided just to say whatever and a lock in a trade with this guy just because I know he has a paper trade. Hopefully he ends up getting some pretty good books. No, there, there isn't a villager back there or anything. I want to push him over by the zombie, just like that, and then if I walk away, hopefully now we're gonna have a zombie villager, perfect, and then proceed to hit that button. Perfect, everything seems to be working. Oh, uh, I picked up my rail, whatever. I'll just put the next one right there. And now I'm just gonna get the other two villagers that I can cure and get them all zombified. You've already watched once before, so you know exactly what's gonna happen. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take fortune three. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let me just trade with this guy. Now we have two. Okay, it's not mending, but it's still pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna lock in a trade. I think I have plenty enough emeralds to actually make that bookshelf trade. I indeed do. So one bookshelf for nine emeralds, please. I'm gonna break this and break this and hit that button. Ooh, you have a shovel. So scary. Ow, okay, that hurts pretty badly. Okay. Now that we have all three zombified villagers, I can just throw that like that and hit all of them. Oh, loud noises. Loud, loud, loud noises. Okay, now I just need to wait five or so minutes for these guys to all change back into normal villagers. And there we go. We now have three villagers with relatively cheap trades. Okay, that's not as cheap as I thought it was gonna be. This one's kind of expensive. I could actually get a book and buy that, which you know, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Might be a waste of emeralds, but I want efficiency. Okay, and then to keep leveling this guy up, I'm gonna use the rest of my emeralds to... Nope, is that not enough? Okay, well, I have a good idea. This guy has a book trade, one book for one emerald. So if I just do something a little bit like that, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of books. So then I can trade with this guy to level him up and then use the emeralds I just got to level this guy up. It's a whole process. I'll let you know when I'm quite there. And just like that, I have all three three of these guys maxed out and I've done a little bit of extra trading with them to get enough emeralds for those name tags. I only need four, so any leftover emeralds, I guess only one, that was a close call. Besides that, yeah, some of them, so the efficiency four guy, he ended up getting respiration three and feather falling two, which is not too bad. This guy got no good books, like at all. And this guy with the fortune three ended up just getting a respiration one. Although I did notice that we're now up to level 32, so we might as well do a trade real quick. I decided to craft another pickaxe and hopefully we can get some silk touch because I've yet to get that but instead we now just have four of the same axes. I mean pickaxes. I was hoping the bow would show infinity or something but it didn't. I'll just leave this stuff up here for now and actually what I can do is put these two together. That's 11 levels. That's 13 levels. Oh that is expensive but I'm gonna do it anyway. So now we have an efficiency five pickaxe. Switching gears I want to get started on getting all the resources collected for this iron farm. Luckily it's not too resource heavy of a build. First things first, I want to head out and go collect up a bunch of sand and gravel. I'm going to be using this to craft a bunch of white concrete. Since this is going to be an industrial complex, I get to use a building style that I never really use, which I guess is just the industrial building style. Either way, I know where a big stone beach is that's full of tons of gravel, so that's easy to collect up. When it came to the sand, it was a little bit more difficult, but I ended up finding a beach that I really didn't want to destroy, but I'm going to have to in order to get all the sand I need, unless I go out and look for a desert. I have no idea where one is. This beach was actually big big enough where I don't think I totally destroyed it. I mean, you can tell I did a little bit of demolition, but not too much. Anyways, with a full boat of gravel and a full inventory of sand, I can head back to base and start making concrete. Now, in order to turn all this concrete powder into normal concrete, I need to build a little redstone contraption. And we all know how I am with redstone. So hopefully I'll be able to do it, but I think I'm gonna build it right up here by this iron that doesn't exist. Actually, I think I'm gonna build it right where this amethyst area is. Yeah, right about here should work. The 
the little machine is pretty much all finished up. So I'm just going to bring all of the concrete up there. I can dump it all into this chest and pretty much if I just stand here there we go now it is working completely and that is a terrible noise but it's pretty much working this is gonna take a massive beating on my pickaxe but i'm gonna afk here for a little while and let this go to work with an auto clicker obviously okay that that was not supposed to happen and i don't know if i set my spawn oh, okay i did set my spawn thank goodness oh i'm back in my undies i gotta get my armor on well anyways now you get to see that all of the concrete powder has now been turned into normal concrete and i'm just gonna throw it all in this chest for now and let it be all right this is the enderman that killed me he should be low on health sweet and he gave us three ender pearls one step closer to the dragon fight actually i am gonna need these today and you'll find out why in a few minutes actually you get to find out right now i need to make myself one eye of ender and then grab this eight obsidian and i think you know where this is going and make an ender chest because this is what's gonna help me transport all of my items to where we're gonna build the actual farm it is nice having one of these next Next up, I need to get shulker boxes. After spending all that time getting the white concrete, I got a full night of sleep and I made a decision. I'm gonna build a completely different iron farm than I originally was going to. And I'm also gonna build it a lot closer to base because I realized something important. Iron farms only need to be 64 blocks away from other villagers, meaning there's really no point for me to go 2000 blocks away to build one. This new iron farm design includes a ton of nether portals, so I'm collecting up a bunch of obsidian. It doesn't involve any white concrete, which means I'm gonna have about 17 stacks of that stuff. Stuff. Or is it more like 30 stacks? That was so unbelievably painful. But I now do have just about three stacks of obsidian, which is just about what I need. I've also thought about my mistakes and I don't think I'll ever make them again. Maybe. And after a little bit of time, I got just about everything together. So I just need to break this chest and grab this bed and head down to the location in which we're going to build this iron farm, which luckily is just about 200 blocks this way, right in the middle of this lake where that boat is. So I'm just going to break this and come directly down and build up 10 blocks from this one. And then from here, I need to build a bunch of really, really big nether portals. So let's kick off the time lapse. Now, I know you're probably wondering like why I would spend all this time collecting materials and then end up changing my mind. Well, there's a lesson to be learned here. Really think out your decisions before you actually make them so you don't end up like me. Anyways, part of the reason I chose to build this one instead of the other one is because it produces a lot more iron. It's also not so resource heavy. The other one involved 24 villagers where this one involves 12. And since I'm building it a lot closer to base, I can just use my existing villager breeder. Also, I'm really excited to build this because it's my first two-dimensional farm I've ever built. Anyways, once I had all the platforms and portals built, it was time to start building dirt bridges. I'm gonna need two zombies for this iron farm, so I need a good way to get them over here. It I have no idea why, but the audio cut out here, pretty much all I'm saying is I need to get two zombies and it's nighttime, and I need to get them into these chambers right here. So hopefully a few of them spawn nearby, so it doesn't take me two or three nights to get this done with, because this is what always takes the longest. Right up these stairs, you're doing good. And then I'm I'm just gonna jump across and hopefully you fall right into there. How about now? No, no, no. Oh, please don't tell me he despawned. Please, please don't tell me he's gonna turn into a drowned either. Come on, just chase after me. Come on, come on, you're so close. Of course, of, of course that has to happen. Okay, time to go look for another one. All right, this guy sees us. We just need him to follow us this time. Back off, drown. Okay, I'm a little bit more prepared this time. Just wanna come like that and then come here come on just right on through right on through you're almost there you're almost there okay we got him we got him we got him we're good we're good oh of course the sun's now coming up okay i just need to do that real quick and then i also want to give him his name tag just so i can go look for another zombie real quick please game please do i have enough time okay this might be the guy we want he has armor and a helmet on oh my goodness i didn't even know he was there all right just follow me buddy no 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 no. come here come here, come here. i'm right here i got so lucky it is insane let's hopefully i can get this guy into there but for now i I got really lucky. Oh, okay. I made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> no. Trying to look at the bright side of the situation, at least I got one zombie into the farm, I guess. I went one for three. Yeah, that's that's not very good, is it? Anyways, while I waited for it to become nighttime again, I got started on all the dirt bridging to get the villagers to the farm. I originally was just going to use a boat and do the really, really slow method. And then I realized I have a bunch of iron and I'm making an iron farm, so might as well just use rails. It's almost nighttime again, which you know what that means. More zombie fun. Please help me. Hopefully one spawns in like right in this general area so this goes pretty quickly and of course there's an enderman right up there okay i got a zombie right here 
Hopefully we can make it all the way to the dirt bridge without having any issues. This guy really does not want to cross right here. There we go, we got him. Oh, we got a second one right there too. Why couldn't we have had this like, you know, on, on the first night? Anyways, okay. Just right into here, right into here. Come on, right, right, right here, right into. Okay, we got. Oh, okay. I only needed one of them, but we got, we got two of them. I'm gonna cover that up, and then I can just sleep real quick to make sure nothing else gets me up. Oh, and there's monsters nearby. I should have known that. Okay, I got one of them. Thank goodness I didn't kill both of them. And of course, I swear if this, I'm gonna see if he takes my helmet because I left the name tags over there. If he despawns, I'm gonna lose it. He did not despawn. Thank goodness. And let's just give him that name tag. And can I sleep up here? Yes, I can. Perfect. Now with both zombies in place, I can get rid of all this dirt and then light up all the portals, which is extremely satisfying. I cannot speak English right now. Oh my goodness, of course I don't have a piece of gold armor. All right, I'm not going to the nether just yet. I got my piece of gold armor and now we can head over to the nether. Okay, perfect. This is looking pretty good. Oh no, this isn't good. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is my normal portal. Wait, shoot. If I, I have a flint and steel, if I break this, where do I end up? Okay, I end up up here. You know, I'm gonna give it one more try please not end up at that portal the one that's over there please 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 okay i'm gonna need to go to that exact coordinates in the nether and build a portal for those ones all right okay this should be the exact spot i need to be in so i'm just gonna build a portal right here which needs to be a three by three also so then i can just do something a little bit like that grab my flint and steel oh okay i thought i thought i could do it i couldn't i couldn't okay now this should end us up right back at the iron farm hopefully oh, okay it did it did okay perfect although it's nighttime and i'd prefer to sleep really there's monsters nearby i didn't know that with the portals all figured out now i can just go through and start placing in all the rails on the dirt bridges and to be honest i thought i had a lot more iron but this was really close like I had to steal rails from other things in order to actually do all of this with all of the rails now done I think I'm ready for the villagers so I just need to put the mine carts right here and I'll do one at a time well I mean like all three and then we'll just kind of see what happens they should be able to make it pretty far and then I am gonna have to push them just a little bit like that where's the first one okay they're all right next to each other never mind and then I just kind of want to enclose them in so they're trapped right here I have plenty to spare but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Nope, nope. Don't want to push that way. Definitely not. Just kind of like that. And then if I just break that, I want the minecart, please. Hopefully when it becomes nighttime, they should... Oh, oh, how am I going to get out here? Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, one fell in. Maybe if I can just get them all to go in, I can get out of here easily. Okay. All right. Easy enough. Easy enough. So then I can put that right there and we're pretty much good. All right. That went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. So I'm going to get started with the other three. This might be the first time I can actually say the villagers didn't give me that hard of a time. I just did each section at a time instead of overloading myself with villagers and not knowing what to do or ending up with villagers drowning in the water. And same as the first one, I just kind of built a dirt cage around them once I got them on top of the beds. And then slowly they actually made their way into there even when it wasn't nighttime. These are the final three villagers. So we're almost there. Just give that guy a little push. And then I can break that, break that, and then break that. And all three of them went perfectly into place. Oh, that is perfect way to end this. And one of the final things things I need to do oh almost forgot to put the slab on top of them is to make sure all of this is spawn proof and get rid of all of the rails I do want to make sure to collect every single one of these up because they're not necessarily the cheap actually you know what I'm making an iron farm I don't need to collect these up I can just let them all despawn well I guess I have to break them anyway so might as well collect them as I'm breaking them I decided to AFK for about 10 minutes just to see if this thing is working, which it should be. So I just got to make my way back up to our main nether portal and go check this thing out. All right, obviously it's working. We got a bunch of golems up there and oh my goodness. This is the most technical iron farm I have ever built. So I'm very, very excited that it's working. Hello there. Can you get in my face anymore? I mean, the iron is just rolling in. There is something I want to do. I just don't want that guy to drop down. I need to use my, oh, okay. I need that of glass by coming here and then also put in some soul campfires it should speed it up just a little bit there was a point in time when i was building this where for some reason i thought maybe i might need two accounts on this world at once and this isn't a server this is just a normal world and so yeah i, I thought maybe i messed up but i didn't because obviously it, it's working so it's now audio issues again but all i'm saying is it's been 24 hours and i spent an hour afking at the farm so let's go check out just how much iron this farm produces i definitely need to build a better way down to the killing chamber because right now it's 
yeah, not not very great. Moment of truth. Oh my goodness. That is about an hour. I actually think it was like 45 minutes. Yeah, this was probably much bigger of a farm than I really needed, but at least I'll never have to worry about iron like ever, ever, ever again. Next up, I need to build a gold farm so I can trade with this fella. That's gonna have to wait for another episode because I am pretty much all out of time for today since, you know, I collected all the resources for one iron farm and then built a completely different one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe if you're not. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one.